decorum. Yeah. I mean, we, we shot have the to, guy I mean, in the head. I know. And because that was the right thing we to do. His that skull was. That's right. Jim. And that, that's it's exactly a little right. For decorum. Right. And that is, and that's right, because there was a threat. Okay, and we, you know, we he we concluded and ended the threat, but to 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 have this circus. You know, what makes me mad. Uh, we photos. don't even show the, the 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 journalist overlords have decided that we don't need to see. Here's another we don't need. We don't need to see the footage of the 9/11 of the towers and the, the the towers collapsing. It's too upsetting for people. They did a thing on the Today Show this week where they said uh, children, you know, for the children's sake. I'm, I'm tired of this. That's the that is the most seminal, uh, pivotal moment in our lives. Uh, if we can't handle that that happened, if we can't handle that visual, and now you're now people are telling me we can't handle the Bin Laden photos, uh, we're, then we're not going to prevail in this thing. You know what I mean? So decorum, courtesy. I, we, 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 we blew his head off. Well, and everybody yeah, else. And that was... was the right thing to do. And the job is done when we blew his head off, okay? Everybody and else in that, that was at that building, the pictures have been shown that are just as disturbing as I'm sure bin Laden's are. Uh, but but it's okay to release them because we don't know They're who not they that are. Disturbing. Look, you see stuff on bones. Well, that's what I'm every saying. Week that's as disturbing as these <laughs> pictures. That's what be. I'm saying. Why is that okay to release, but bin Laden's not okay to release? I mean, that makes absolute no sense. They could even, you know what, they, somebody even said to me, hey, if they, if they wanted to be fancy about it, they could even have redacted the portion of the open skull or something. I mean, come on. It, 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 this is not about, this is not about being nice. <laughs> this is about not being able to figure out, and I think you said, uh, Joe, that uh, they seem to be snatching you know, defeat from the jaws of victory. Absolutely. Or they, I mean, this is about not being able to figure out you did the right thing, you are you have nothing to apologize for. You have not inflamed anything, and now you are going to trust the people of this country. By the way, the same people who supplied those seals. This is an all volunteer military. We trust you. Here's the here's all the information. We're going to dump it all out there. You don't have to see it. You don't have to look at it. You can change the channel. You don't have to click on it. But there it is. That's what we do in this Jack, country. Jack, do you think he's dead? Yeah, I absolutely believe Why? he's dead. Why do I believe he's dead? The main reason I believe he's dead is because I don't believe you could co-opt those uh, SEALs and those military mm -hmm. men and women to tell a lie on behalf of a politician trying to get reelected. Now, I think, you know, you're, you're a tough sell for this administration. Well, right now, you're, so if you're, you think he's dead, then why do we have to release the photos? I mean, you, you. I didn't say we had to release him to prove to me that he's dead. You're, you're putting that. You're putting those words in my mouth. I'm not expressing doubt that he's dead. I'm telling you, I don't like the precedent of of somebody deciding what the American people need to know and don't need to know. And you, as a liberal, should be absolutely with me on that. I'm with you. That I'm, with, with, you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Brother. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you, brother. Of the left. For 50 years, Jim, I'm with is that you. you can't trust authority. Wow. You can't trust the man. I am with you now. I've come <laughs> over to you. I'm saying to the man, stop treating us like babies. I'm with you on that. Okay. And I say it all across the board. Both parties, domestic issues, foreign policy. Now, now I'll make an exception. If you are about to uh, put the life of a specific person in danger, i.e. you're going to reveal the name of, a, mm -hmm. of an FBI agent who's infiltrated the mafia or an intelligence agent who is uh, a sleeper inside of an Al-Qaeda cell. No, you don't release his name. Obviously, that, that would be stupid. You know in that case this specific person will come to harm if I do that. I don't believe any specific person comes to harm if those photos are released. I think that's a false argument. Oh, we'll be in greater danger. I've heard even even uh, one of our generals said our troops in Afghanistan will be in greater danger. They're in danger. They're on the battlefield. That's it's crazy talk. I think. What do you think? Well, the bullets get bigger because we show the picture. I, I, I don't. I don't know. You know. Uh, are they have they been holding back? To now? Is the enemy been showing restraint? Yeah, we're just waiting for you guys to show us something to inflame us more. Um, are I mean, they that's, getting that's, over it? I don't see that. All right, we're back with more gang at four ten forty five into the newsroom for Karen. Gang, Karen Klaus over there in the news center. News center fifty five. Can we say that? Uh, is that all right to say, Joe? Absolutely. All of right. The, or just the room she's in. We just were trying to. British researchers, uh, Karen, are uh, looking at the trigger factors for stroke. 
Uh, they're trying to figure out uh, what are the you know the risk factors and the triggers. A, a stroke often occurs when a weakened blood vessel bursts. They found two leading triggers um, in their research so far: coffee and sex. So I see that as kind of a good news, bad news thing myself. <laughs> hey, what's the order of those two? No. <laughs> I'm only half as worried as I could otherwise be. Uh, it is 11:10 on News Talk 550 KTSA. The gang is here today. Joe Ryan Eagle, sports director at Channel 5, uh, all things sports. Uh, he, he privately admitted to us that he's not as big on horse racing as some others. Yeah. But uh, is there any sport you just absolutely hate that you just you have to grit your teeth? Yeah, I'm not report? a big guy. You can admit say, it. I'm not a big soccer fan. Uh -oh. I guess soccer. I wouldn't have admitted that one if I were you. Well, I know I, I probably shouldn't have, but I mean, it's you know, growing up as I did, you know, back in the in the seventies and eighties, yeah. soccer was just not heard of. Is it so. is it not a real sport? I wouldn't say that. Those guys, it's, just, it's not a I'm good spectator. It's not a good spectator sport, I know, I in understand. my opinion. Well, I agree with you, but obviously we are being I know outvoted on that one. <laughs> um, he's here today, and we're glad to have him back, uh, Dr. Maserat Ali. Uh, candidate uh, last year for the Texas House and a businessman, uh, and also uh, uh, Jim Eskin, who publishes the Stratagems newsletter. Hey, by the way, can we add? Does a, a lot of other things. A third, a, a third stroke stress factor oh, yeah. would be looking at gorish photos of dead uh, terrorist uh, yeah. <laughs> leaders. Oh yeah. So um, let's let's uh, look at the uh, landscape here going forward. Now, let's we've talked a lot about what happened this week. Let's talk about the future. I want to talk about two things. First, uh, we're in Afghanistan, um, which may have been in some ways key to getting bin Laden. After all, we had to flush him and that organization out of Afghanistan. But um, a lot of people are saying now, uh, with him dead, we should speed up the withdrawal, uh, pull out faster. What do you think about that? Dr. Ellie? I'm not sure if pulling out faster is the way to go, but we certainly have to limit our engagement in, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and we have shown that we can be a lot more effective with a smaller force. And I don't think that you have to have, you know, hundreds of thousands of Americans occupying a different uh, country, mm -hmm. and that is inflaming the uh, radicals a lot more than us uh, killing a few people. And we got to limit our engagement uh, both in Iraq and and Afghanistan and other places and just do what needs to be done with a targeted, you know, uh, missions. This is what you need to achieve and they can be a lot more effective that way. Um, and of course, the, 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 our debt going through the roof and cut down on some of those expenses and this is the time to do it. So are you saying that we just demonstrated uh, the more effective way to fight terrorism as opposed to big, you know, large-scale military operations. That is correct. I mean, the same thing is happening in, in Libya, that we can be very effective with a, with a targeted approach as opposed to sending another 100, 200,000 people there and inflaming uh, everybody with the occupation of the country. Mm -hmm. So anybody else think that Afghanistan will be over sooner or should be over sooner as a result of this? I'd like to see it be over because I don't think right. I don't think that it, being in Afghanistan. I mean, look, the Russians were there for how long? Mm. Forever, and, and nothing changed. And I, I, I'm not sure what we're what we're trying to do there. If it was to flush Bin Laden out, we've done that, and he's dead now, and we all agree on that. But I, I think as soon as the United States leaves Afghanistan. It's going to be right back, but I just think it's a waste of time. I think we're spinning our wheels there. Certainly spinning our wheels in, in Libya and, every, and everywhere else. I just don't see uh, the good. I'd like to see the United States. You know, this is a scary moment in which we all agree. And I think we all say we want some clarity in our exit strategy, and we agree. Wow, he's speechless. Let's look ahead now to the election. Next yes, year. that's fun. <laughs> How big a factor, if any, uh, will uh, the takedown of bin Laden be for the president's re-election chances, Jim? I mean, there were people saying Monday morning, oh, that's it, he's locked it up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just amazed of how little activity there is on the Republican side. You know, they had a debate last night, and all the frontier candidates refused to participate. And when it's not that far away, heck, we've had other campaign cycles, and it was serious, uh, seriously underway two or three years in advance. 
Um, I, you know, there's image and there's perception of reality. Um, and I, we don't like, you know, the phrase looking presidential, but that's exactly what Obama now appears. And it kind of gives him a chance to get in his rhythm uh, and to focus on issues. For you to say rhythm. Uh, okay. okay. You wouldn't well, have said that about a white president. Well. Look, let me ask you this. No, let but, me help you out. Yeah. You're a big student of history. Does this look like 1992 to you in the sense that uh, Bush 41 has this great victory against Saddam Hussein and people say not, he'll be untouchable? To I think, and and no. let me just finish the yeah. analogy. Okay. Demo a lot of big time Democrats yeah. sat out that year. Yeah. A guy who didn't, who wasn't thought to be a front runner, Bill <laughs> yeah. Clinton, winds up winning on the economy, yeah. which was still in the toilet yeah. uh, despite yeah. the foreign policy success. Could that play out? in 2012? I don't see a parallel in the magnitude. I mean, the, 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 the Bush victory, you know, international victory in 91 was much, much more substantial and sustained than this was, you know, than um, it was, than, than finally killing, you know, Bin Laden. Um, I don't see a parallel there. And, you know, and Republicans were staying away, you know, well before this week. It seems to me that this election will be, and I mean, I'm not saying this because I oppose Obama, but I think this election really will be about the economy. I mean, it's I just be. don't see any other way. And what's wrong with happen. that? Nothing wrong with it, but my point is, therefore, I really don't see how this will help him. It will make the people who support him feel better about him. But look, if you think we're going down the wrong road, you're still going to think that, aren't you? I, I, I just go back to the analogy I made. It's like being on vacation for a week, and now you've got to come back to reality. Uh, we all feel good, we're refreshed, you know, the American pride is back. But at the end of the day, the economy is in the toilet, gas prices are, are through the roof. Uh, we disagree on the, uh, the jobless situation, but that's still 9% unemployment. Uh, and, and the economy is not going in the right direction. I mean, the, the stimulus thing was a joke. Our, our deficit is in the is in the is, is outrageous, and and it's just we're not so going I in the right direction. Given that environment, that some serious Republican presidential contenders will come forward with serious solutions. Well, let me ask you about that. What, where are they? I mean, last night's debate, the winner, according to the Focus Group was Herman Cain, I, who's at 1% I agree. In the polls. And I mean, he's a great guy, and he was good, but, uh, you know, where, where are the, the heavy hitters? They, they do seem to be waiting for 2016, don't they? And, but you got Donald Trump. I tell you <laughs> what, no, don't laugh. In this type of mix, a Donald Trump becomes a, you know, a credible factor. Yeah, with Sarah Palin as vice president, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah. think... No, really. I think I, that look, given Trump, what the, the, the cast of, you know, that was in that presidential debate last night, Donald Trump can seriously compete. Trump is is got some ideas, and he's bringing some things to the forefront. I mean, he's not going to be a contender for president of the United States. I mean, there's no way. Well, and, how about if there's not a serious Republican? There are what not is the serious Republicans serious in the office. Republican? Aren't they all serious? I don't know where a clown knows. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> well, when you're at 1%, you know, um, well, they're not being taken seriously. You can seriously. be serious and be at 1%. Yeah, but you're not being taken seriously, okay? Uh, so who are the guys that you're talking about? Give me a name. I think Mitt Romney is a serious candidate. Why was candidate. he not at the debate last huh? night? Why was he not I at the debate? I don't know. Debate? I'll tell you why. Okay. You know, there's an obvious reason why. It's you've actually said it. There's no reason for him to be. If these are the people in the field, and we know that Trump at some point this this thing is going to either uh, self-destruct or he'll renew The Apprentice on you know yeah. for another season on NBC. I mean, I think if I'm a guy like Romney. I'm thinking it's going to be about the economy. I don't really have anything to add this week as far as the takedown of bin Laden. In fact, Romney is telling uh, Fox this morning he agrees with not releasing the photos. He's just sitting back waiting. Yeah, afraid the, the of way the, the Republican Party, I don't think he's afraid of it. The way the Republican Party works, it defaults to guys yeah. like Romney.